Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we will be considering the topic we have right there on the screen. As we are going to be making progress. I want to urge you to stay attentive throughout the lesson for a better understanding. Straight away, let us make progress into the lesson. We want to be resolving this uh, question in this presentation. The question says, what are the quantities of sand and cement required to plaster a single rope of wall 3.6 by 3.6 by 3 meter height? If the sand measurement is in wheelbarrow, cement in bags, and mixed ratio of mortar is 1.4. Also take note, external plaster thickness equals 20 mm, internal plaster thickness equals 12 mm. So, let's proceed. Solution. We will consider this as the reference room size, which is 3.6 by 3 meter. Alright, so we'll go straight away into the calculation. Room wall area to be plastered consists of 3.6 of the length multiplied by 3 of the height. Then you now have to multiply by 4 because you have uh, 4 walls that consist of the room, which now give us 43.2 meters square. You can see we have a door here. So the door area is 2.1, which is the height of the door, multiplied by 1.2, which is the width of the door. You know width of doors varies. You can have it at, in 1 meter, 900 mm, depends. But for the sake of this lesson, we consider 1.2 as the width of the door. And when you do the simple arithmetic, the area you have it to be equals 2.5 to meter square. Why the window area? We consider window 1.2 by 1.2 window size, which equals 1.44 meter square. The sum of door and windows consists of the sum of this value and this one, which is 2.5 2 meter square plus 1.44 meter square, which gives us 3.96 meter square. Subtracting the room wall area to be plastered from the window. Total room area to be plastered equals 43.20 of the room wall area to be plastered minus the sum of doors and window, which now gives us 39.73 meters square. We proceed. Volume of external plastering we consist of the the result we got here to be total room area to be plastered multiplied by 0 0.02 this 0 0.02 is the external plaster thickness you can see it right there actually it's a millimeter we have to convert it to meter then we have 0 0.02 meter of this. Then you multiply that successfully and you get the answer to be equal to 0.795 meter cube as the volume of external plastering. Volume of internal plastering is 39.73 multiplied by 0 0.012. This is the thickness of the internal plastering. It was 12 mm. Then converting it to meter, we are now having 0 0.0.012 0 .012 meter cube, which now result to 0 0.477 meter cube. We proceed. Total volume area to be plastered is equal to 
tv equals to ve plus vr as in the volume of the external plastering plus the volume of the internal plastering which will now give us the total volume area to be plastered so this is the volume of external plasters and this one is the volume of internal plaster you add some them together to have 1.272 meter cube then dry volume of plaster is equal to total volume area to be plastered multiplied by multiply by 1.34 this 1.34 is a factor for the dry volume plaster and so once you carry out the simple arithmetics you feed in the 1.272 of the total volume area to be plastered in these provisions here we have the dry volume of plaster to be 1.542 meter cube volume of cement now it equals dry volume of plaster multiplied by cement ratio all of us all of our sum of ratio remember that the miss ratio given in the question is 1 point one is to four all right so the sum of this ratio now is going to be five then the ratio of cement in this mixed ratio is one we proceed so volume of cement is equal to 1.542 of the dry volume of plaster multiplied by the cement ratio the cement ratio in this ratio as i said earlier is one so you can see that then divide by the sum of ratio the sum of ratio is one plus four which is five and the answer equals 0 0.308 meter cube we proceed thus weight of cement equals volume times density so we are able to get the volume right there to be 0 0.308 meter cube then the density of cement is constant which is 100 and 1440 kilogram per cubic meter all right so once you carry out the simple arithmetic here you will have the weight of cement required in this calculation to be 443.53 kilogram Note that one bag of cement is 50 kilogram. Numbers of bag of cement is equal to the weight of cement we have here to be 443.53 kilogram divided by the weight of one bag of cement. Then we have a 8.87 bags approximately nine bags of cement we are going to be used to plaster the room of 3.6 by 3.6 by 3 meter height we proceed volume of sand equals to dry volume of plaster multiplied by sand to sand ratio the sand ratio in in that given ratio is 4 while the sum of ratio remain constant which is 5 we proceed volume of sand equals to 1.542 which is the dry volume multiplied by 4 divided by 5 which is the sum of the ratio and then that gives you 1.234 cubic meter considering 50 liter we borrow we are going to be considering 50 meter wheelbarrow in this lesson. Uh, there was a lesson I did about wheelbarrow. And so you can get into that lesson again for better understanding. So, because we have a wheelbarrow of 50 liter, 80 liters, and as well 100 liters wheelbarrow. But in this lesson, we'll be considering 50 liters wheelbarrow.
All right. We are in 50 liter wheelbarrow, 16.25 loads of sand equals one cubic meter of sand. Once you load the wheelbarrow, 16.25 with sand, it gives you one cubic meter of sand. So this is the typical example of the 50 liters wheelbarrow we are actually referring to in this lesson. Therefore, numbers of sands loads using 50 liters wheelbarrow will be 16.25 multiplied by 1.234. The 1.234 is the volume of the sand we got here, right? So, when you do the simple arithmetic, you will get 20 loads of sand using 50 liters wheelbarrow. In summary, quantity of sand and cement that can do the single row plastering using mixed ratio 1 is to 4 are sand, 20 loads of 50 liters wheelbarrow, and cement, 9, nine bags. So this is the summary for us to be able to plaster external and internal wall of the room 3.6 by 3.6 by 3 meter successfully. I believe this is very clear. If you have questions, you can drop it at the comments section.